the Bloomsbury Group, Modernism. The Modernist period began in the beginning of the 20th century until 1965. Modernism broke away from the traditional worldviews of the Victorian era and brought about thoughts of the inner self and consciousness. The 20th century was a time for the wealthy Caucasian male to prosper. On the contrary, this era brought about the artistic talents of the minorities. A central idea of modernism is with the inner self and consciousness. In contrast to the romantic worldview, the modernist cares little for nature, being, or the overarching structures of history. Instead, there is a focus on progress and growth. The 20th century witnessed the beginnings of a new paradigm between first the sexes and later between different cultural groups. War most certainly had a great deal of influence on such ways of approaching the world Two world wars in the span of a generation effectively well, well shocked all Western civilizations. Harlem Renaissance was the name given to the cultural, social, and artistic explosion that brought to light the talents of black writers, artists, musicians, and poets that took place during World War I until the mid-1930s. The Imagist movement is a type of poetry that describes images with simple language but great focus. The Bloomsbury Group was an influential group of associated English writers, intellectuals, philosophers, and artists. The group searched for definitions of good, the true, and the beautiful, and questioned accepted ideas with a comprehensive irrelevance. The Bloomsbury Group was created in 1910 in England by a group of students at Cambridge University. The Bloomsbury Group members included Virginia Woolf, Vanessa Bell, and Bobby Steffen, who were siblings. Virginia Woolf was a feminist writer who married Leonard Woolf, who was a Fabian writer. Vanessa Bell, a painter, married art critic Clive Bell. Bobby Steffen was an original founder and friends with Clive Bell and Linton Strachey, who was a biographer and a critic. John Maynard Keynes was the economist and Ian Forrester came later and was a writer. Some of the literary works of the Bloomsbury Group included Miss Dalloway, which was published in 1925 that showcased many of Virginia Woolf's talents. No doubt the writings of Sigmund Freud made a profound influence on her. A Passage to India was the last book Ian Forster wrote, which highlighted the vast cultural gulf that lay between England and her most prized colony. Eminent Victorians was written by Linton Strachey and brought humor and irreverence to the biographical genre. The landmarks of French literature also landed him the role of being one of the best critics of his generation. Hogarth Press was founded in 1917 and brought attention to many of the up-and-coming artists of the modern era.